Samurai Showdown represents my earliest fighting game memories. I didn't play Street Fighter 2 on my arcade much. It was always way too packed. Mortal Kombat was an easy way to guarantee my handful of quarters would be wasted against Scorpion's nonsense. That's still happening in Mortal Kombat 11, by the way. Samurai Showdown was the one for me. It was the game that I first got a chance to play seriously in the arcades. The first fighting game where I was learning how to compete against other players and watch others put up quarters to try and take me out. It didn't have the fantasy or fatalities of Mortal Kombat. It didn't have the flash and mass appeal of Street Fighter 2, but it didn't need it. What it had, nobody else did. Fantastic sprites, that referee, sparse music, and what felt like the pixel-perfect representation of all the great Kurosawa flicks my grandfather had on VHS. Samurai Showdown may not be as big as some of its peers, but it's just as worthy. Its reach and inspiration can still be seen and felt in games across different genres till this day. Some fighting games like Soul Calibur probably wouldn't even exist without Samurai Showdown paving the way for weapons-based fighters. Samurai Showdown arrives during this fighting game renaissance that has fans spoiled. After trying their hand at numerous sequels of varying quality and a 3D game of questionable quality, they're now completing the modern fighting game revival, a brand new title with its gameplay rooted in the 2D style and the classic action the franchise is known for. Samurai Showdown for the Uninitiated is not a fighting game about Flash. You don't pull off magic strings or air launchers into super moves. In this game, it's rare to even combo a normal into a special attack. Samurai Showdown was, and still is, a game about the very fundamentals of fighting games. Concepts and terminology that have crept into the more casual player's vocabulary is what this game builds its entire core around. Footsies, spacing, defense, mind games. These are the core of what separates Samurai Showdown from most other fighters. Now don't get me wrong, these concepts are core to every fighting game no matter how casual you think they are. However, Samurai Showdown emphasizes these techniques because its gameplay revolves around patience instead of flash. Most fighting games of the last few years have made moves to bring in the more casual audience, whether it's via easy supers, auto combos, and more comeback mechanics than you can throw an X-Factor at. You can absolutely pick up Samurai Showdown and mash some buttons, and in a lot of ways, it's pretty great as a pick up and play game. Like I said earlier, Combo mechanics are pretty simple, and move lists are pretty small in comparison to most other games in the market. Anybody can just have a go of it and start slashing each other left and right and have a good time. Each character comes equipped with three super attacks, if you will. One will guarantee disarm an opponent if it lands. The other will expend all of your rage and is probably the flashiest attack in the game, the lightning attack. And lastly, each character has one big super move that hit or miss you can only perform once per fight. Regardless of which character you use, these super attacks share the same input across the entire roster, so once you learn them for one person, you will have learned them for everybody. The real depth comes from using the tools at hand to best your opponent. The life bars in Samurai Showdown have always been a scam. They exist but don't be surprised to see gigantic chunks of it vanish in a handful of strikes. A handful of counter hits can end the fight before you knew what even happened. If you get hit with a clean super attack, it's not uncommon to see a clean 70% of your health bar gone. The focus on fundamentals in the absence of flash, high damage counter hits rather than 30 hit juggles, and footsies and spacing instead of a comeback mechanic create a much more tense and satisfying combat experience. As for the rest of the package, Samurai Shodan goes for a stylized look which is fantastic and maintains the spirit of the original. Music and sound effects are sparse and they are used to accentuate the tension and danger that combat can bring. As for the rest of the package, it's unfortunately one area where they held on to the roots of the franchise a bit too much. The game features a standard arcade mode, along with survival and time attack. Each character does have their own little bit of story, and it contains a surprise or two that I won't spoil here waiting for you during your climb to the final opponent. Dojo mode promises to take the AI learning, a mode seen in games like Killer Instinct, Shadow Lords for example, and implement it to help you train against your own habits and your friends fighting styles. 
In the limited time with this mode, it actually seemed to work as advertised. Facing off against my own Galford was eye-opening, and I quickly learned how to bypass my own setups after just a few matches. This seems like it could be the best tool at helping players learn to better themselves. Training mode is pretty bare bones by industry standards, and the tutorial will teach you all of the basic game mechanics, but it doesn't really go past that. The online is the true meat of the package, as the single player offerings are minimal at best. Outside of a gallery, the game features very little in the way of unlocks. Online also comes with a pretty standard selection of modes. You have the ranked mode, which is standard fare. Lobbies for casual matches are present and pretty much the same as most other fighting games as of late. It unfortunately doesn't feature a rematch option, so after each fight, you will have to load back into the lobby and reselect your fighters. It's a bit rough, especially because the load times are pretty slow. The true highlight of the online offering is actually the team versus mode. You can choose several options, and even if you're only playing against one person, you can still have a full-blown team battle single elimination fight. Playing this mode and selecting 3 vs 3 almost turns this game into King of Fighters. It's by far the most fun I've had online with this title, and it's a ton of fun to get in your 3 vs 3 sets. However, the fun you have will differ greatly depending on who you play with. Unfortunately, the incredible rollback netcode featured in the PC port of Samurai Shodown 5 Special is nowhere to be seen here. Even playing against a friend who lives close by didn't really make it better. The entire fight almost feels like it's several frames below 60. It feels like the fight is happening underwater. It's a bummer and it really hurts the overall package, especially when you factor in a pretty bare bones single player selection of content. However, if you have a good local scene, or some friends who don't live too far away, the core combat of Samurai Showdown brings back its top notch. The amount of mind games and the back and forth defensive battles have been some of the most fun I've had in a long time, and it's a great change of pace from how combo and juggle driven most newer fighting games have become. And in most other fighting games, netcode like this would probably really ruin how it plays. But since Samurai Showdown is a game that's not about high execution combo based fighting, it actually doesn't hurt it too much. Samurai Showdown overall is a stellar reboot, a refined and straightforward return to its roots. I give Samurai Showdown an 8.0, I think it's really good and solid, the input delay has been improved before launch, and SNK is a team that seems very eager to please, the season pass is free if you buy the game in the first week, and I really hope that they take the netcode criticism to bear and can change it and add in that new rollback netcode that they put in very recently in the Samurai Showdown 5. If they do that, then this game score would go way up because it is a ton to play as is. The netcode could be better, but like I said earlier, it doesn't really affect my enjoyment or the execution that I've been able to pull off online. I just wish it was more up to standard with everybody else. That's my opinion on Samurai Showdown. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please add me down below if you'd like to play some sets. I'm on Xbox and PlayStation. Stay tuned for a giveaway and check out RectifiedGaming.com for the full written review. I am Namtox. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see all of you next time. So get your swords ready, cut them up, and have a good one. Later, everybody. <laughs>